Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna be using the most realistic heavy wrecker rotator tow truck that I have ever seen before. Yeah, I just threw in all those keywords, but I am super excited because this thing actually works and today we're gonna be using this underlift back here to realistically tow semi trucks plus we're gonna be using the boom on top to actually lift vehicles up and over crazy crash scenes like it's gonna be so cool we even got the outriggers down here and i am so excited about this truck because as you guys know we do run a very successful tow company in gta 5 but today we are in beam ng for the first time so let's go ahead and get started oh i kind of like how you start the engine so a little bit of information about this truck before we get started this thing is in early alpha stage so that means it is not yet complete but it is pretty cool because it has a lot of functions and we can like open doors we can also remove the hooks as well for the winch line so it does have like a lot of basic functions already um it pretty much has everything you need to tow and recover a vehicle which is what i'm excited about and what we're going to be doing today so again this is early access but if you guys do want to check it out i will link it down below in the video description and i also want to go ahead as we release our parking brakes i also want to go ahead and give a huge shout out to fun physics that's actually the creator of this mod and he did an amazing job like i was saying this is an early alpha but it works and functions for the most part so it's it's pretty cool obviously it still needs stuff like lights on top and it still needs like a detail interior but if you just want to like you know support a very cool creator and use an awesome tow truck in the meantime i highly recommend you guys check this out now some more information about um the creator and this mod they are going to release this for free in the future but under one condition in the meantime you have to pay about six dollars to get it which is very reasonable once he gets twenty thousand subscribers on his youtube channel that is called fun physics he will then release this for free so if you guys want to help this you know get released go ahead and subscribe to his youtube channel and i will link that down below in the video description but anyway we are heading to a call guys and we have a report of a loaded semi truck that broke down with a trailer on the highway so we're gonna be heading to that location and here's a view of the inside but like i said it's still a work in progress so there's no interior but um yeah guys first time in beam and g i am super excited because this game is just so realistic it's for those of you who don't know it's kind of like a driving simulator game that focuses on soft body physics and like crashing your vehicle so like if i accidentally crash into something right now my vehicle would like get destroyed like it's so realistic how the crashes happen so um yeah i'm excited we're headed to our first call like I said, guys, we're going to be able to use all of the functions today. So make sure you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Right, we're coming around this curve. We want to make sure we slow down. And this rotator is really cool, too. I don't remember if I said it earlier, but it's based off the Jordan 5060 record body. And then we have the twin stair set up as well. Do we have an accident here? Why are they stopping? Why are they stopping for the red light? They're kind of stopping a little early. Yeah, look at the curve on the incline. Like, this is steep, man. This is so cool. So, this game, for those of you who don't know, it has a couple different maps. We're on the West Coast map right now, which I believe is the most intensive map. Like, it takes up the most resources, but it's also the most detailed. So I figured we'll use it for the first time and this truck also takes up a lot of like resources as well but you know if you have a decent PC you should be able to handle it so I believe the call that we are responding to is somewhere up here and we do have a red light but I'm so excited we're gonna blow this red light let's go guys don't call the police there are police in this game but we're not worried about them right now. Oh, I see the semi-truck, guys. There it is. There's the semi-truck. I wonder what type it is. All right, so it looks like it's going to be a T-Series tractor with a sleeper and a trailer on board. We're going to go up and over. 
and around the highway and then we will officially be on scene. I'm just a picture in what this truck is going to look like in the future, guys. Once we have all the lights and everything, it's going to be amazing. I cannot wait. And again, we're going to just blow this red light just because we're excited. I don't know if the officer is going to like that excuse if I get pulled over, but yeah, it is what it is. Here we go, guys. Arriving on scene of our first tow call. And this is going to be the most realistic thing you guys have ever seen. Here we go. I love watching how everything like moves around and shakes too on the back. Like it's so cool. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Sometimes traffic actually hits you. So I hope we're safe here on the side of the road. But we do have to be careful because we are working right next to an active plane. So this is going to be kind of dangerous, but hopefully we're good. Okay, so I think we are good here. I'm going to set the parking brake, and we're going to jump into free camera mode, so we can just kind of move back here and really take a look at what's going on. Now, the first thing we're going to do is put the underlift down, or tilt the underlift down, so we're going to that. And there's a whole control thing that you can do. Like, if you press the top arrow up here, it will tell you all the different controls. But I'm such a beast, I already memorized everything, and I'm not lying. I didn't just take a picture of it and look on it on my other monitor. I promise, guys. I'm professional. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But anyway, we're going to now put the whole boom down so you guys see the whole arm going down. And we'll put it down to the flow. Uh, we'll tilt up just a bit and go down a little bit more. And now here's the fun part. We're going to extend it and see if we can get it out or under the wheels. And let's see if we get a better angle on this. Oh, I just got hit by a car. I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead again. I shouldn't be in this lane, but the sunlight is better when this. I don't want to show you guys what's happening. So we're going to now put the underlift out. So to do that, we need to extend this way. You guys can see it's coming forward. Now it uses like a wheel lift system, which is perfectly fine. Normally not going to see this on like a heavy wrecker like this. Normally that's as far as we can go. Oh, we're going to have to back up and release the brake. So we can extend out more than that, but maybe not. Okay, there we go, set the brakes again. So yeah, normally you find these wheel setups on like smaller records and trucks, but um, yeah, it works perfectly fine. So I am not mad at it at all. I actually really do like it. So the next thing we're gonna do is get these things to spin around and actually grab the wheel. So to do that, we are going to doo -doo -doo -doo, press this button. And that's gonna come around and hug the wheels. So now we have a nice cup on the tires. And now we're gonna kind of just rig it up a little bit. So this has something called nodes. And what you can do is actually like attach anything to anything like that. And if I press that, those are now attached. Now I'm gonna put a couple down because I'm not really sure how strong this is, but we could just RP this as our role play for those who don't know. Role play as this being like, you know, strapping down the chains and stuff like that straps and chains so we're gonna do another one from here to the frame and we'll get that and then we'll also climb around to the other side and same thing we want to try to get maybe right here so like right here and i know these aren't like the actual like you know like um points and stuff like that but this is really just you know to just lock it in so the game knows that like this shouldn't go anywhere and i'm not sure how many you need honestly when i was testing it i did two on each wheel so i'm just gonna do that again oh, 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 oh. but yeah this is so cool like because it, it actually makes you feel like you're like you know climbing under here and really locking it down you know yeah this is a nice spot to the frame so that should be plenty 
And now we can actually lift this thing up. So here we go. Oh, this looks amazing, guys. Oh, I just got hit by another car. Okay, so now let's try to... Should we lift it? Yeah, let's lift it up. Let's gonna tilt it up. Oh, you could... Ah, uh, should have really showed it, but you could kind of see the truck is taking some of that weight. The record was taking some of that weight. Wait, now we're going to bring it in. One thing I forgot to do was check if the brakes were released, but I, I think it was because I don't think I ever released the brakes on this truck. But what we're going to do now is climb under here and get this drive shaft pulled. And the reason why we got to do this is basically so that the, you know, transmission and all that stuff does not get destroyed while we are towing this thing. But man, this is so realistic. Like, we're actually climbing down here. Now, we don't actually have to do anything, but just, again, for roleplay purposes, we're just kind of you know, doing what we can do. But this looks so cool. We got everything down here. It's so detailed. This is amazing. So we got that. We're going to go ahead and also pull the brakes, make sure no brakes are set on the trailer or the truck. And, ooh, this thing got rear-ended or something. Look at that. I don't even know what happened there. Let's close this door. Now we're pretty much ready to tow this thing. Uh, oh wait, we got this on the ground. That is gonna scrape, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna wanna put the under lift up. Oh wait, wait, let me show you guys the physics that are going on, guys. Here we go. You can see the truck kind of moving as we're taking on that weight. Now I have this thing really high up in the air, so we are going to tilt it down. That should be perfect for our setup. Um, last thing we gotta do is jump back here. Also put on our wireless light bar. You know, gotta make sure we got the lights going. We ran air to this thing. I think we did pretty much everything. Again, some things were kind of role playing out and some things we are actually doing. Guys, we are ready to start our tow. So let's start pulling it. And there she goes. Look at that, guys. We are realistically pulling a semi truck this is amazing so i went ahead and put down some extra connections under there just to make sure this thing does not come loose and it looks pretty good guys this is amazing i'm really excited to watch the progress of this mod and i'm 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 just amazed man this is stuff that i always try to do like in gta 5 but you know we do have some limitations but it's cool that in this game, we could actually get a more, like, realistic... I know I keep saying I feel like I said realistic, like, probably a hundred times today, but you guys know what I mean. So let's see what it's like to tow this truck and trailer. Whoa, 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 whoa! I can't even slam on the brakes there. Rolling through a red, I didn't mean to do that, but... That's kind of me talking too much and not paying attention. You really feel the weight of everything. This trailer is unloaded. I figured we'll do an empty trailer just to kind of, you know, do our first uh, tow and kind of learn the system and stuff like that. But I definitely feel the weight of the trailer and the truck. Like, as I tried to brake, it was literally pushing back on me, which is cool. So once we tow this to the yard, I guess they'll work on getting it fixed. And then we're going to respond to another call where we'll get to actually use the boom and we'll be able to uh, lift it up, extend it. And I think we're going to try to lift up something very, very cool. So I'm excited. That should be even more fun than this. Now we are going to have to go through town a little bit. I think we're only going just on the outskirts, so it shouldn't be too bad, but Maybe in the future, I'll do a, like an actual tow in the middle of the city, which is probably going to be hard, but I'll try to do my best. And I'm excited for the challenge, too, honestly. There's also stuff like Jake Breaks in this game, too. I have to kind of learn how all of that stuff works. So we had a little bit of a hiccup back there, but luckily the game didn't crash or anything. It just got disconnected and I had to just reconnect it on the side of the road. That's perfectly fine. I'm trying to 
take this turn properly again. I'm not really worried about the red lights in today's episode. I just want to show you guys how this thing works. Oh, I'm hearing some noises down there, guys. Now, when I reconnected it, I messed up something. I think I accidentally connected to the ground, and I didn't mess up one of the wheels, but it's okay for now. Oh, a little bit too strong there. I took that way too steep. The back wheels are riding. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. Woo. About to wreck my truck. Really got to get used to this game, like the cameras and stuff. I'm trying to turn around, but kind of a bad idea while driving this thing. Now, like I was saying, we are on West Coast USA, which is an intensive map. I think next time I'm going to try the East Coast or some of the other maps that doesn't require as much resources. So I have the game would run a little bit better with this thing. Here's the city area. I haven't really explored this place much, so this is pretty much all new to me and probably new to most of you guys too who never played this game, but it's pretty cool. Oh, that's actually where we started off the video in that parking lot. All right, so let's see if we can do this turn properly. Really need to break more. That was much better than the last one we did on the highway. Now here we're going to have to kind of take this wide. Oh, we're going downhill. This is about to be crazy. urban pole and I think we're good on height up and scraping I gotta learn how to use the engine brake I don't even know what the brake <laughs> the engine brake is <laughs> so we're just riding our regular brakes right now game i cannot wait to do some more like complex recoveries and stuff oh i hit the curve we're gonna do one today but i'm gonna definitely set up some more in the future so make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see some more of this action here so it looks like we're by a gas station five dollars we are definitely on the west coast take me back to the east coast please or to the south looks like this is some type of water way here and I believe the drop off is over here I kind of picked it at random so <laughs> this may be like a office industrial area or I don't even know I just saw a parking lot and I picked it honestly let's watch that truck and trailer come around nice and easy Oh yeah, here's the parking lot. Okay, so this is where we're going to be dropping off the vehicle, which honestly doesn't look like a good spot, but a better spot looks to be right up here. This looks like a good industrial area, so we'll drop it off right in here. I don't even know where this is, but I'm dropping it off here, guys. I think this is like a dock or something. I don't know. Wherever it is, they just got delivery of this semi truck, so we're going to stop. We are now responding to our second call of the day on the highway, and this one is going to be for a sports car that was speeding, and apparently it hit like this area over here, went airborne, and it looks like it landed over here on the left side 
past the guardrail, which is crazy. Now, we do have some space to work in this. Uh, is this a breakdown lane or is this a HLV lane? I'm guessing it's a breakdown lane since, or a shoulder since it's yellow. So we shouldn't have to worry about traffic, hopefully. But you know what? We are going to have to put our outriggers out. So we are going to, you know, be in the road a little bit. Uh, look at this. We have our tire in the middle of the road, too. It looks like I lost a tire. That is crazy. But what we're going to do now is set our parking brakes and start getting our truck configured for this. Um, what we can also do is take a look at the vehicle. So it's some type of sports car here. It's still running, believe it or not. So we're going to have to try to get it turned off. But yeah, this thing is wrecked lots of damage so i'm gonna have to try to get it out of here so what we're gonna do is first put down our outriggers on the side and now we're gonna go ahead and start putting those down and we also have rear outriggers as well so we'll put those down for more support and it's actually strong enough that it would uh, it would lift the truck up, which is pretty cool. And we'll do some more on the sides. And try to just kind of balance it out. I think that should be okay. So now we are going to want to remove these from the truck. And let's start booming up and out. I absolutely love how this thing works. This is so amazing. Now, each of the winch lines we can control independently too. So we can put the green one down and then we can also put the blue one down. out a bit to get all the way over here. This is like, I'm just so impressed though, like being able to actually do this. It's amazing. We've been doing, you know, crazy stuff in GTA and even farming simulator, but this takes it to a whole new level. Now, picking it up is going to be interesting. I'm not even sure how we're going to do this, but we're just going to try to attach somewhere. And yeah, I think maybe if I could get it to the road, I can flip it over better. But we pretty much only have two lines, so we got to make this work somehow. Now, we can go tire to tire and lift it up from the side, possibly. That may be our best bet, or we could try to grab somewhere on the frame, but I don't think we're going to be able to balance it well, but let's give it a try. Alright, so I got the green hooked up on the there, and now we'll hook up the blue. Let's see if we can get it somewhere over here on the frame or the axle. go so we now have the car supported and we're gonna try to maybe just pull them up and we are making a car fly look at the this is amazing and now we'll just kind of spin it around And the real test is going to be if I can get it to land on its wheels somehow. I think if I angle it right, it would work. And now we kind of have it over the guardrail. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wrong buttons. Wrong buttons. 
This is so cool though. Like this is amazing guys. If you want to see more of this, definitely let me know, but I have so many ideas. Make sure y'all subscribe and hit the like button because it's going to be fun, guys. Okay, so what I'm thinking we'll do now is we'll put it down so that it's touching the ground and it stops moving. And then I think if I boom out, it would flip over. Let's test that theory out. Okay, minor problem. We cannot boom out anymore. So I'm gonna have to boom in. It's gonna get damaged a little bit here as it slides on the road, but I mean, honestly, this thing is already damaged. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do, but it seems to be working. All right, we need the blue. I think blue is this button. Yep. Okay, it should fall over nicely. Hopefully it doesn't hit the truck. Don't hit the truck, please. Yes, we didn't touch the truck. The line kind of touched it, but yo, I'm a professional, guys. Look at this. Look at this. We got it. We did it. This is amazing, guys. This is awesome. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. We can kind of tow it away. But, yeah, this thing is so cool. There's also flatbeds and stuff like that. So, I will set up another situation where we'll do, like, a full recovery and tow it with the flatbed and have a bunch of fun. But, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what we should do next. Also, make sure you guys click right here to watch a fun GTA 5 video that I did. We had to use a heavy record to tow a bunch of big vehicles. Click here to watch, and I'll see you guys over there.